G'day Jap Adventures, Terry King here. Welcome to the channel. I have something completely different this time around and it's something that I really don't know a darn thing about. We're not going to be having any drone footage from this point forward. I turned drone on this morning and a little puff of smoke came out of the gimbal and it went and fried. So unfortunately we have one dead drone. No more aerial shots from this point forward. So what have I got here today? This is my Mavic Pro drone and when I was up in Cape York on our last big trip I blew it up. Basically what happened was I got a gimbal overload error. So when I turned the Mavic on with the little power button, a little poof of smoke came out from the head of the drone here and that was it. After that happened the gimbal would not operate at all. I could still fly it and everything, there was no problems there, I just couldn't get the gimbal to operate. So I jumped onto trusty YouTube and did a little bit of research and found out that oftentimes that gimbal overload is a result of the ribbon cable that feeds power and control to the gimbal. So I went out and I spent a hefty sum of about $10, maybe $15, and I got a new gibbon rimble kit and I got a new gimbal ribbon cable. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and replace that ribbon cable on the gimbal and maybe rescue my drone. I bought this years ago so it's so far out of warranty it's not even funny. I hope this works because I really don't want to face the cost of either getting it professionally repaired or actually replacing it. So I will follow along step by step on a YouTube video I found and you guys can have a look at what I'm doing. What I've got here for tools are a set of jeweler's screwdrivers and that's about it and my ribbon cable and of course a laptop with a YouTube video. So let's get stuck into it. So here's what I've got. I got a little error message here that basically says gimbal motor load too large please check if the gimbal clamp has been removed. Of course it has been removed. There it is. Now normally when you move your drone back and forth that gimbal moves with it and mine is just sitting there like a limp you know what. So step one, pull the battery out. Step two, pull these little screws out of here that hold this case on. And there's error number one. I've been using a Phillips head screwdriver and those little suckers are Allen keys. So I hope I've got an Allen key that small. I did find an Allen key that fit. Boy oh boy this is tiny tiny workings. Have a look at that. Ooh that one's not wanting to play the game. There's always one screw, isn't there? Got him. I'm not actually, that's a 1 16th inch, but I'm not actually sure it's 1 16th because it's got a ball on the end of it and the ball fits and the flat doesn't. So I suspect it's probably not it. So I pulled six screws out, two in the back and four in the battery compartment. Now we flip her over and these panels here need to come off. Same thing. Allen head bolts. And apparently these lever out. There we go, gotcha. Aha. And on this side. Ah, yeah. You just gotta lever them forward. And they pop straight out. So I'm using the ball head on the end of the Allen key to kind of jam into the bolt. Okay, that one and that one are both out now. And the last two are right up here in the very, very front. It's a little bit easier to get out. Okay, now that carapace should pop off. And yes, carapace is a word. That is the crunchy exoskeleton of crustaceans. That 
That's it. We got it. Now it looks like there's a little ribbon connector here on the back that sort of pulled out when I pulled the case off. So I better make sure that I get that back in there again. There's something inside of there. This isn't part of the process, but I'm just going to pull these two screws out and see what's rattling around in there. There we are. A broken piece of plastic. And who knows where that's come from. Anyway, it's not rattling around in there anymore. Okay, Mr. YouTube says next. Remove that screw and that screw. Done. All right, and then this the center screw here, which is attached to that. Okay, the next screws are there and there. Okay, got them out. Okay, now we've got to remove this little black plug here black and white plug here. And that's that one. Now these two ribbon cables have to come off at the back as well. My goodness, those are tiny little plugs. Wow. That's how these two ribbon cables pop off then. Once you get that gooey stuff off, you can just lever them off. And the gimbal pulls out from the bottom. Whew. All right, there's our gimbal. Okay, now I gotta start removing screws, tiny, tiny screws. This ribbon cable starts there. So I guess we pop him off here. Yep, that's the way. Oh yeah, I can see it. I can see the damage to the ribbon cable already. Well, that's exciting. That means maybe we might have a potential fix here. That is the melted bit right there. That's all charcoal-y. And that's where my puff of smoke would have come out from. All right, to get that cable out though, these little elastic bands that stabilize the gimbal in flight, they need to come off. Okay, now these two screws need to come out because that gimbal cable is captive underneath that thing. Those are tight little suckers. Okay. There's little sticky pads here that have to be peeled off. There's one. So that one goes around to there. That's good. You can feel it when it clicks in. After an inordinate amount of time, I've got that ribbon cable in place. It's not difficult, it's just so tiny. Now I'm trying to get these little rubber bands back on and in place. There we go. Okay, now last but not least, this cable lays over the top plugs right in there. Doesn't feel like that gimbal's binding at all. Let's put these plates back on. Now that gimbal is 
completely assembled again with all of its covers. One of my covers, this one here, is actually broken. So it's been broken for quite some time. So not much I can do about that, but that is what it is. It seems like the gimbal travels freely in all directions. I guess we'll see when I hook it up, but we're ready to install that gimbal back into the Mavic. In terms of the original ribbon, there's the area that's been burnt right there. You can actually see it. And on this side as well, it's gone crispy. Pop our gimbal back in place. Man, these screws are just so freaking tiny. <laughs> okay, third time lucky. Nope, not so lucky. Ah, got it. Okay. Now these two sensor cables. two sensors. This fella runs through here. I wonder whether they hand build these things because far out this would be tedious. Down that goes and then these two cables clipped in here. two front screws on the gimbal. Okie dokie. I think we're ready for a test drive. And to do that, we'll need to put this back on. Now I'll just see if I can make contact with that battery. Okay, I think we're in moment of truth time. Okay, that error message is gone in the corner. And if we look at our gimbal, and I try to control the gimbal up and down. That is awesome. And there it is, when you move it around, the camera stays stationary. So the gimbal is operating properly. I'll put those final screws back in and we'll send it airborne. Everyone just kind of clips down, I guess. Okay, now we pop in all these Allen head bolts. Well, I had a hunt around in my toolbox and I actually found an Allen key that fits these little screws. So I'm in business now. She's all back together. Pop our battery in. Let's go take them for a fly and see what we got. Gimbal down, gimbal up. A little bit of left, a little bit of right. Gimbal up, gimbal down, beautiful. Well that's it, I've got a working drone again. That's fantastic. And what did it cost me? $15.89. So what's the moral of the story here? Give anything a crack. You never know what the outcome will be unless you give it a go. <laughs>